Hey guys, welcome to the video, Shadows here, and welcome to another Dead Rising 3 video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at the awesome combo, which is the pole weapon. So the blueprint we are hunting down is located in the top centre middle of Ingleton. This is the first city we walk into from the beginning of the game. It's also very close to the motorway where we started this game off. This blueprint isn't as simple as others guys where you just need to simply locate the blueprint. This combo weapons blueprint actually requires some work and time because you have to finish off a side mission to gain access to the area where the blueprint is located. This is the first side mission you receive which is called Signs of Safety right at the beginning of the game. A illegally infected survivor known as Anna is trying to spray paint a safe zone circle but she runs out of spray paint so she asks you to go find free cans for her. Don't worry, this is very very easy, the game helps you out by locating these on the map and also your mini map. Once you have found all three, locate back to Anna, give her a little chat, she will join you and also finish off her symbol which will unlock the door to where our blueprint is located. Walk through the door and right in front of you will be the blueprint we are all hunting down for the pole weapon which requires the two items, the spear and the wooden hat rack. A lot of people have been asking me what these symbols under the two main items required for each combo weapon are representing. These symbols are basically showing that on Dead Rising 3, Capcom Vancouver have made it a lot easier to build combo weapons as you can use any category item instead of having to find that certain item. So for instance, you can use a 2x4 wooden plank instead of finding a baseball bat, combining it with a box of nails and you can make the spiked bat. So that's an example of what them symbols under the main items mean. So looking at the pole weapon, it's an average combo I would say. A little bit of fun when you use the heavy attack, it takes out quite a few zombies all at once. But really, this is just a standalone combo weapon and it doesn't really stand out from anything else and it doesn't really make it that unique. It also has a special ability which is okay as well, but today guys I'm going to be rating this combo weapon with a say 5 out of 10. It could be a better weapon, but it's just one of those average ones which are in the game. So that's it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have anything to say to me or you want me to try find a certain combo weapon for you, let me know down in the comment section below. On screen right now will be free annotations, the top one as usual guys to subscribe to my channel. Remember guys to please click that like button, I appreciate it a lot. The annotation on the left is a link to my Dead Rising 3 personal playlist of all my videos so far. Here you will find many many guides and tutorials on how to find more combo weapons and the combo vehicles and much much more. On the right is a link to one of my other videos which is showing off the Dead Rising 3 Day 1 exclusive DLC which is a Frank West and Chuck Green tribute DLC pack. So if you want to see some gameplay of that, click that, simply click that link. But that's it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on my next video.